Welcome. This is the first in, I hope, a series of videos talking about specific elements of anime. Welcome. I hope you find this useful. Today we're going to talk about shonen, sometimes spelled S-H-O-U-N-E-N. Shonen, a term you hear bandied around a lot. Um, what is shonen and, and such? Now, we talked about this before. Shonen is basically anime for boys, right? Um, would you guys disagree with that, or is there more to it than that? What would you say? I no, I would I would definitely agree with that. That I, I think the vast majority of it is is for the the younger male set. You're not going to see a whole lot of girl kind of shonen stuff, and that almost can be because it's translated into magical girl kind of thing. Mm. Um, you know that kind of that kind of idea. But shonen is, I mean, you know, when I think of when I was a kid. And I watched Spider Man and all those cartoons when I was a kid. And you mm. talked with it with the other guys at the on the playground. Who was not there in the conversation? The the girls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, I think this is definitely a, a, a more of a young male mm -hmm. audience. Well, it definitely definitely. feels like historically that's the sort of genesis of it, where it started yeah. out with that sort of demographic. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I think you're you're getting a little bit broader opportunity with Shonen as it's come mm. along historically. Mm -hmm. um, it, uh, uh, Ron or Rin? <clears throat> Rin, the one about the female samurai that you've told us about so many times. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Um, um, Sukage Rin or something Sukage like Ron. that? Sukage Ron. Ron. Yeah, yeah. Um, those kind of things and thinking about like the my mm -hmm. hero cast you yeah. don't just have the the shonen -y boys that are shonen things up True. no you have a lot of female characters that are mm -hmm. done in a way that it feels at least from my perspective and you know mm -hmm. looking at it from, from the stuff like you know the uh some of the older shonen stuff that we've seen ace of the giants mm -hmm. <laughs> um coming up through that kind of to to the yeah. current it seems like shonen has kind of broadened to yeah. like incorporate mm -hmm. aspects that will bring in young women as well sure you certainly see plenty of uh, you know, uh girls cosplaying as my hero academia characters or whatever right um but like, i think your point steve it, it is definitely a demographic where the elements of it are kind of classically you know young young boy kind of mm -hmm. elements of action adventure um uh, groups. I actually asked. Let me see if I can pull it up here real quick. I actually asked Chat GPT what was his definition of shonen, <laughs> um, which was very interesting and actually pretty, pretty clever. Um, I'll see if I can get in. No, I cannot. That's fine. Um, but I, I think it's also interesting and, and important to point out that you know, to your points, shonen has evolved. Um, you know, back in the day, the Astro Boys and the you know the the, the early shows. Um, shonen was basically action cartoons with male protagonists having adventures. Um, and now you see shonen is a sort of anime aimed at boys, but there's also that kind of subgenre of the, the bleaches, the Naruto's, or whatever people call shonen anime, where those tend to be sort of these fantasy team battle adventures, yeah. where you have a, a group of, 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 tweens or young teens going out on these adventures there's usually one lead character and they're trying to get stronger right right and it's, it's yeah. really the, the drive of how to improve as a person so that was kind of interesting yeah hunter hunter is a good example of that <clears throat> the, exactly. the, the kid the kid in that one is just like i'm going to be the best um monster catcher whatever it is called mm -hmm. ever is and and he that's that's the journey exactly and that that is the journey and here we go here you go um uh, these stories often feature action, adventure, comedy, and drama, and typically focus on a young male protagonist who sets out on a journey to achieve a goal and become stronger along the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's pretty much yeah. that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and again, that's your Naruto, that's your Bleach, that's your One Piece, that's your Demon Slayer. Um, it's also sort of more broadly a lot of the sports anime. IQ and right in those Blue Lock, yeah, Blue Lock, yeah. you know, definitely have that kind of dynamic to them as well. Um, well, I know from this season we've got the reincarnated whatever. It's mm. a a the hero king who dies and he's reincarnated as a young mm. girl, mm -hmm. and 
what does she do? She kicks butt with a sword. She fights uh, people. She is the mm -hmm. shonen protagonist. Mm -hmm. She is the shonen protagonist. Mm -hmm. You know what yep. I mean? So it's like you see this sort of shonen -y thing where you're getting the action, you're getting the comedy, you're getting the mm -hmm. protagonist, but it's now it's it's evolved enough that it's not predominantly a male protagonist. It could be a female protagonist as well, which is a nice, Definitely. nice yeah. broadening of that for a broader audience. Absolutely. Now, speaking of audience... Um, I know some folks complain because Shonen is everywhere. It feels like there's just, you know, you go into an anime shop and it's just all, uh, you know, Dragon Ball Z. Wait, no. Uh... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> um, can you believe that's still going? Um, and, uh, and the reason is money, as with everything, yeah. I think. You know, the Shonen stuff sells more than the Magical Girl stuff and everything else. And not the Magical Girl stuff doesn't sell. <laughs> Right. But sort of collectively, the shonen stuff just outsells it dramatically. But I think, and I think that's also um, influenced by the fact that Shonen Jump, the manga magazine, outsells pretty much every other manga magazine by a large margin. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that that's the one that has Bleach and Naruto and all, no, these, all that these stuff. Big titles in it, and it has the money behind it. So it's this reinforcing loop of they're making the money, they advertise the most. And so you just get those shonen jump titles tend to dominate. Yeah, it was <clears throat> it was funny. I when I had my subscription to Shonen Jump, and again, just pretty much as at the time that I was doing it, it really was Bleach and, and Naruto <laughs> and <clears throat> those guys. So I thought it was kind of refreshing when they put in um, <clears throat> was it Akari no Go? Oh yeah, Akari no Go. The, the, yeah, yeah <clears throat> the kid who likes to play Go, and yeah. I'm just like, okay. Okay, here we go. Action, 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 and go. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. But, you know, there's a big difference between that and, and these other things. Yeah. And, you know, the action is there for a reason, and it's yeah. just to, hi, I'm going to grab your attention, and I'm going to keep it. <laughs> and, you know, we're just going to hold you there to that TV for 24 minutes. Mm -hmm. And you're going to watch all the ads and go to mommy and go, I want, I want, I need, I need, Yeah, <laughs> you know, and that's, you know, really, that's just kind of it. That's yeah. why, you know, so much action and, or, you know, you know, things that are important to that anime. Like when Goku spends two episodes powering up his spirit bomb, yeah. um, you know, they're like, okay, while Goku's talking about this, we're going to go to some side stories and talk about Yamcha and, uh, you know, <laughs> the Namex and, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And, <clears throat> you know, so they, you, you get into that and it's just like, you realize that there's not a whole lot of exposition. No. It, it's not a whole. Why do you need I mean, that? It takes away from action. <laughs> well, that exactly, exactly. That's the whole point. You know, mm -hmm. you know, we can watch here, watch an Oshi film, and just like, oh wow, okay. Mm -hmm. Or you know, watch uh, you know some of these more serious ones where it's important that we hear what the people are saying right. and mm -hmm. what they're getting at because there's meaning behind the words. Well, in a shonen, it's just like, no, we want action. We want to see the slow mo. Uh, you know, <laughs> we'll and, get a little monologue, uh, but not okay. so much as to detract from that. Uh, right, it's exactly. Like, it's it's, it's literally it's, just there, just to go. Okay, we're moving scenes now. So, two sentences. Here we go. That said, <clears> I think one of the strengths of the those long running shonen series is they have enough time to actually include that stuff. Yeah. You know, Naruto has this yeah. massive cast of characters with all sorts of backstories, and this person, right. you know, likes that person and all that kind of stuff. And because it's you know ninety thousand episodes, <laughs> there's time for them to actually explore all that stuff between all of the punching and kicking. Yeah. Um. So you 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 are able to get a a fair amount of of depth out of those shows just out of the sheer weight of minutes of footage. Yeah. Well, one piece, one piece is over one thousand for for a reason. Yep. You know, to that point, well, it's, it's one yeah. of those interesting things that, <clears throat> that makes me when we're talking about this and the mm -hmm. idea of shonen and the, you know, the sort of the genesis of, of shonen as it's come up, where advertising, mm -hmm. you've proven the the effectiveness of the shonen thing you're doing, whether it's mm -hmm. sports or whether it's fighting, whether it's fantasy world, whether it's isekai yeah. kind of thing. Now that you've proven that and it makes money people who like to make money make more shonen mm -hmm. so right. that yep. the, at least mm -hmm. from my perspective it seems like yes there is a great depth of shonen out there and that you know you have a lot of these other great shows and stuff but they don't get as many movies they don't get as much mm -hmm. merch but that's because 
the shonen has proven itself to be to be uh, very profitable. Mm -hmm. So that you have this feed in where you get the manga feeds in, the anime feeds in, the merchandising mm -hmm. feeds in, mm -hmm. everything feeds back in. So you have a thousand episodes of One Piece. Mm -hmm. You've yeah. got a lot of Naruto. And it's like, you know, mm, if only you had even the magical girls making this money. money <laughs> merch, you have probably, you know, a discussion mm -hmm. about like, what is magical girl? You know, like that kind yeah. of thing. Yes. So, what is magical yeah. girl? That's another video. Coming up. Oh, yeah. Coming up soon. <laughs> But the thing about Shonen is that, to your point, John, that it is a tried and true formula that has worked for before there was anime. I mean, that's just—I <laughs> I mean, honest, honestly, yep. you you look at you look at lore. I mean, <clears throat> look at Norse lore. I mean, that's that's mm -hmm. nothing but oh yeah, oh yeah. So and so killed so and so and smashed his head in with a hammer, and you know, and oh, and by the way, they they kind of liked each other, but you know, but more to the point of <laughs> the hammer smashing, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But but it goes back and it's just a winning yeah. formula. I mean, how can you not? How can you lose on that? Gilgamesh, the Odyssey, right? right. These are all right. very much that story. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, if you look at a predominantly male audience for your first target group, mm -hmm. not to say that's imitatable, but how you know? Just take Dragon Ball. How many kids are out there having seen a Dragon Ball episode or mm -hmm. having you know, following the manga or whatever form? They're seeing it and going. Argh! Outside. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and they're all gathered around on the playground, like imitating mm -hmm. things. Yeah. And it's just like, yeah. okay, you yeah. know, see how that feeds in. And that's one final thing I want to point out too is that um, the demographics of fandom are not necessarily representative of the demographics of kind of what it's aimed at. Right. That shonen is often aimed pretty young. Um, you know, the, the intended audience, like in, in in Japan, is often tween, even preteen boys. Whereas over here, the audience is often adolescent, even post-adolescent, you know, young young adult males. Yeah. Um, so that also colors it a little bit where it can be silly, it can be ridiculous, it can be comedic, it can have a lot of those elements, which might not appeal to an 18-year-old, but it could appeal to the 8-year-old on the playground who's going to beg their uh, their parents to buy them all the toys. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's Shonen. They're coming to take me away. Shonen. Yeah. <laughs>